And so, for my own mental health, I think a break away from social media for a period of time could be healing and allow a period of reflection and self-improvement away from a toxic environment where people are not picking apart my every mood. I just need a break, okay? What, uh, uh, what are you doing? I'm just laying the groundwork here. I'm not gonna be take, I'm just, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I need a break. God, God, I can't. See, part of having boundaries is, what do you mean Natter posted online? <sighs> Hold on, warm up the filters, I gotta go live. Oh, oh, oh. You like short hair? I can have short hair. You like blondes? I, I can be blonde. Hello everyone, I'm Steve, Mark's around. Say hi, Mark. Hey, everybody! And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Either welcome or welcome back and happy Saturday and happy Christmas Eve. I hope everyone's well, I hope everyone's safe. If you're observing a holiday, I hope you're enjoying it. We do Christmas and it's a little spooky, as you can see. This was yesterday's spooky Christmas with Steve and Mark. So I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's safe. Look after yourselves. Uh, today we are going to catch up with our fair lady, Chantal. Chantal Marie, foodie beauty, big beautiful me, the daily Chantal, Chantopolis. Chantal Al, I'm not going to butcher his last name. And um, foodie beauty, again, usually. Um, but we've seen some changes recently. So last week we went live. And the things that we talked about, there was a variety of them, but we touched on modesty, tradition, roles of men and women, hypocrisy, deception, and privacy. So we touched on a couple of those different things. And those kind of ran through this week. We had another stab at modesty, which didn't go very well. Um, hence why she's taking a break as of today. We'll see if she's back online tonight. So the few things I wanted to touch on were her going back to the classics for content. Mukbang, long lives, raging, all that kind of thing. It must be hard to, to seem to hate what you have to do for your job. Like, I think she hates her job. Probably. She likes the money and she likes the attention, though, so it evens out. So, returning to old content, her hustles, there was a few. Revenge porn, um, via the Natter. Um, she took a trip to her first mosque, so I don't know where she got married. And um, she's on break right now for her mental health, as we just showed you in the intro to the intro. So to start, let's talk about hustles. Let's talk about the word scam, if, if, if you must. Um, she has a few things she's been doing lately to try to generate it. Okay, views are modest for, compared to Chantal's main channel. The views for Sala and Chantal on their channel tend to be in like the five to ten thousands. There's one or two videos that are highly viewed, but that channel itself is hovering. It's had about nine thousand subs for the last three weeks or so. So it hit a period of growth and then it stopped. Then you get to her channel, 93,000.6, okay? And that number moved rather largely in a short period of time. So if you're looking for a last minute gift idea, how about signing up for another platform of Chantal's that she'll never post on? Um, another hustle that we seem to have been seeing this week. Uh, she, once a month, maybe or so, tries to integrate herself onto other platforms and Twitch and, and other other places like that and promises content, I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Um, so give me the money now and I promise I'll do it later. This scam kind of thing, um, we weren't victims of. If I gave Foodie Beauty any money, it's my own fault if I thought I'd see anything different than what we all see. Um, but the first time she alleged that, um, Natter was being abusive. 
She was crying. I felt bad. I joined. I sent $5. Okay? That's my piece. Did I renew it? <laughs> no. Because what seemed like at the time a possibly genuine, possibly genuine moment of hers um, was for nothing. It was just to draw attention and win sympathy. And today's mental health strike shows that as well. You know, when I can't be queen baby, when I can't be queen, I'll turn into a baby. When being a baby doesn't work, I turn into a queen. It goes for men too. And I think she's dated a couple men kind of like that. Um, changing member dues she did last week. She's offering a lower price tier. So for $2.99, you can see pretty much everything. And then for $4.99, it's the same stuff too. Um, membership, it's hard to get a feel on. With that, uh, her chats aren't as crowded as they used to be. Unless she's raging and eating. That's what it seems that people want to see. The numbers all kind of break out that way. Her old videos that are still tacking on views years later, they're old mukbangs. So the kind of content that she now is, was briefly not kind of pulled towards with her, her married, modest life now seems to be a matter of finances. Like, look, Sala, kid, this is how I make my money. Okay, if you want to enjoy my money too, you're either going to go along with it or shut up. And I think that's pretty much the bottom line with that. Um, oh, she was going to do a giveaway too. A cash giveaway for members. That tips around TOS and then starts to like circle the drain. There's things about not being able to do a um, secluded, kind of like on its own. Only these people specifically can enter. It, it wouldn't be open. And I think that's part of the, the thing of it. I don't know how I feel great about paying people to watch. You know, it's <clears throat> it's been done. It's been done. In fact, this week, very suddenly, and with no viral videos or a large amount of chatter or a bunch of new people saying, hey, just found you. Great to see you. Welcome me. 600 subs in one day all of a sudden came. For what? From what source? It's not, depending on how you go about it, um... Or depending on the service or source you go to, you can buy subs and you can buy views. But you might as well buy your own trophy then. Because if you're not getting traction on the channel, then it's more important about how it looks rather than how it is. At least as far as Chantal goes. I'd be curious with the kind of views she pulls now with the number of subs she has. I don't know. Someone give me a figure one time that if your channel's kind of coasting in a decent spot, you'll views would be like 10% of the total number of subs. Um, I don't know. Somebody's watching. Somebody's watching. And they're watching reaction channels, too, which is what pisses her off. Um, but her reactions also suck. So, you know, fair's fair. And so next, returning to old content ideas. Things that worked in the past that she wants to see. Um, see if they'll work again. So we were seeing, you know, day trips of Chantal and Sala in Kuwait. Um, some of the places that she visited were breathtaking. You know, I like the urban kind of design of Kuwait, the city. Um, I don't know if there's anything in those skyscrapers, but they sure look nice. Again, foodie would buy that. <laughs> it looks great. Who cares if we have to get good curtains so nobody can peek in and see that the place is empty. Um, so be it. The desert, I mean, the desert camping, I thought that looked pretty cool, too. So there was things that she was doing, but she wasn't getting the response, the attention, the money, one or all of those things. And so, rage streams. She has, obviously, an awareness that they make her the most money. She also says it's the kind of content she tries hardest not to make. And again, with Queen Baby, she'll go from, I'm better than you, I'm prettier than you, you're jealous of me, you're jealous of me, to, see how mean they are to me? They're terrible. How people talk to Chantal is a reflection on them. Whether they say something complimentary, constructive, now Chantal might not take it any of those ways. But if you give a sincere, concerned comment, she doesn't really see it that way. She kind of sees it as, I don't know, patronizing, I guess? She doesn't really respond to them. Um, she has zero impulse control, according to her, which is something we all need to learn to live with. Not that she needs to deal with. Um, again, it's not her. It's the 90,000 people circling the drain um, watching this go on. So certainly it can't be any of her responsibility. Well, when your metrics start to suck, um, whose is it? 
whose is it? And French Fried Girl and some of the other reactors, I don't agree with everybody's approach, but I'm not every person. I don't have existing relationships off YouTube with, like, mutual friends or anything like that. So her situation isn't the same as other people's situations. And Chantal's made some fair critiques about playing a video in full and adding just a little bit to it here and there. Um, I think the fact that French Fried Girl is making decent money. It's views that make the money, not the subs. And she's she's doing well. She's doing okay. Chantal says it wouldn't be without her content. But she's like, okay, not only does she get the same, even if she just re-ran the video and said nothing, she'd probably get more views because it's on her channel. Um, adding a lot of insight and um, comments and discussion points and stuff while watching, that's interesting. That's the stuff of like pulpy syntax or um, milk tea reacts, channels like that. Um, her own reactions when she does them to react to reactors because she's finally going to, uh, you know, let them play at their own game. She sucks at reacting. At least she knows it. But it just sounds like she's immaturely bickering at the TV, which to me means she hears nothing anyone says. And all she hears is noise. Noise, money, food, pot. When we get back to Canada, we're going to see a familiar foodie beauty, I believe. She can't stay forever. She can't stay with under the situation they're in. She's got to go. They don't have to come to Canada, but they can't go back to, you know, she can't go back to Kuwait. Um, I was wondering when they alluded to once upon a time she was going to, like, move him to Thailand or something. This money's going to run out of hers. She's wealthy compared to a lot of people, but people with real money know that Chantal is not living the life of luxury she kind of wants everyone to believe. If her money was so good, she would have paid her taxes. But she didn't. What, she forget? Never had a job before? They didn't take taxes out at another job? You need to be personally responsible when you get paid through YouTube to find a way to make sure that it's being taxed and you're paying for it. Do it at tax time. Ours is coming up. You know, um, once you get the 1099 from uh, Google or AdSense, I forget who it comes from, then you can do that. But if you haven't saved money aside or you're not paying taxes offset by something else, you really only get about half the money, you know, <laughs> and it has to be paid back. And governments will um, put a lien on things, at least in the United States. I mean, if you owe money to the government. Let's say you had outstanding student loans till you were 40, like a lot of us, and something happened and you became injured and you weren't able to work anymore and you had to go on disability. They will take 15% off the top of your disability because they're going to get their own money. They're basically shoving their own money all over the place and paying each other, but um, she'd be in a very different position if that were the case. So I don't know. Okay, I just want to touch on one point from French Fried Girl that was actually, like, a point that I think she made, and she made pretty well, um, and that other people observed. Shit-talking both directions. Some of it... Occasionally you get a good one-liner, but otherwise, it's not interesting to watch that kind of content. I don't watch any creators that exclusively do Chantal content. Um, they usually cover other things, uh, current events, news, Amberlynn Reed. Um, other topics more personal to them. So one of the quickest ways someone said once on YouTube to get your channel monetized, make an Amberlynn Reed reaction channel. They sprout like mushrooms after rain. They're everywhere and you can get yourself where you want to go. But you better be like prepared that if you build the channel around a certain kind of content, people are going to want to expect that. Chantal, um, not everyone maybe was crazy about the Kuwait arc. And now the idea that, you know, this is all staged and she's dropping hints, gas, well, what if it's all set up? Then you faked a marriage for money. It's a shame, really. I wanted it to be a loveless marriage. Okay. You can say you're thankful for what you got, but you know what you wanted, really. So, um, revenge porn. So Natter, being Natter, um, had released a picture that Chantal had that was provocative. Um, she was t topless. The part I saw that was only to hear. Um, and in her, you know, vault, whatever. So he posts it. And there's discussion about that being revenge porn. It was an intimate picture that she didn't give consent to be released. Now, legally, I'll leave that to lawyers. Um, it does make him a bigger piece of shit in this instance than her. Um, in order to give her a little bit of a defense, if there is any. Why do people say, and would I'd be inclined to agree in part, she's shown her ass, 
her below her belly button, the stuff that's like under it. Um, she's been nude, she's been crude, she's been all sorts of different things on her channel. Um, Chantal is responsible for Chantal's behavior. This image was created by her. Completely. And when it stopped being serviceable, she found something else that she thought would be. This arc is probably the most disappointing. Um, back to revenge porn. So him releasing this makes him a piece of shit, pretty much. And while Chantal does expose her body maybe more than I'd be comfortable with. Um, so I treat it like radio and don't really watch. Uh, that's her choice. That's called consent. If she puts it out there, she takes on the responsibility of being humiliated or uh, uh, applauded, if that ever happens, or anything like that. But for him to take that action without her permission can go places. That's not a one and done. Revenge porn is not okay. It's really, really not okay. So, big headlines that Natter's garbage, we'll tear off the front page. Um, but I have to say, in a situation like this, even with Chantal being Chantal, for what she has coming to her, revenge porn, I don't think, is it. That's not karma. That's an ex being an asshole. Um, but you know what? She'd still go back to him if he called. She'd be on the first plane back. So she did make a trip to a mosque. Now, that's good because she's been culturally identifying as Muslim. Anybody who would see her on the street and say, you know, maybe would ask, but the whole thing of the garments that she wear is that it tells people, it lets people know. And so if the answer are, are you Muslim when you're in regalia, and you say, no, I'm just interested in it. I don't wear a yarmulke around because I'm interested in Jewish history. I mean, that's not how that works. It's, it's, anyway. So, I don't know where they got married. Because she was never in a mosque before. So maybe they went to Hardee's. I, I don't know. Um, does she know which way Mecca is without Googling? You should know. It comes up a lot. <laughs> a, a few times a day, even, sometimes. Um, so... That's with that. I don't find it offensive, because I'm not Muslim, probably, but I do find it laughable, for the most part. Um, just because she's clearly acting. She's clearly trying to keep it together, and trying to be what he wants. And it's still not working, like it didn't work. She wanted to be a sex kitten for Natter. But then, she was a little more assertive than probably he liked. Um, and so he did lousy things to her. She did lousy things to him. Does it matter who started it? I don't know. The first time I felt threatened, I could go to the police or I can make a video and gaslight all my subs to going over there and reporting him. There's different ways that we can deal with the shitty things people do to us. We don't have to fire back harder. We can take, wait for it, the high road. It's much more dignified, generally. Granted, it's not as entertaining, but that's, I don't know, does she want, does she want to be a person of character or does she want to make seven grand a month? That's that's on her. So, And now we are on break. As of me filming this, there was a community post put up with the comments shut off saying that Chantal needs a mental health break, that she's not doing well at the moment, that things get to her, she needs to be away from toxic environments, um, blah, 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 people picking apart my every move. She documents her every move. So people are going to ask. Also, I, I think it probably should be occurring on her now, um, the pe most of the people who are watching are there for her to lose control of herself and be a hypocrite. Because, I don't know, train wreck appeal? Maybe? I think some people actually take it a little deeper and feel a deep sense of injustice. That's not it for me, because I don't care enough about her life <laughs> to do that. Um, to the extent that it was about social issues, I didn't like her driving around when intoxicated. Because um, that's an issue that's close to me. And I, I didn't feel like that was... like. A good thing. But her saying, essentially, people need to leave her alone because you know how she gets. I will scream at you and try to humiliate you if you upset me. Again, what other people do is a reflection on them. How we respond is a reflection on us. And saying I'm impulsive as a get-out-of-jail-free card for every freak-out, run-off-at-the-mouth that I do is stupid. The hypocrisy almost doesn't even need to be said. Um... And I can appreciate that she, you know, people say hateful things. 
there's hateful things, there's criticism, there's backhanded compliments, there's people saying, <laughs> it's so nice of you to take your son out. It's good to see a mother and son in public. I think about half of those were sincere and about half of them were people just trolling. Because she's an easy target, she makes herself one, and she, you get a rise out of her. People like that. And even if they're the one getting a rise out of her, they like to watch her lose her cool. Because I think they feel that she treats other people and situations so poorly that when something unfortunate happens to her, there's like this sort of karmic, um, righteous good. Something was bound to happen to her. She treats people poorly. She makes bad decisions. Something, there should be a consequence for her. And I think a lot of people watch for that just to hang out and see what's going to be next. Um, because everyone knows a Chantal. Everyone knows a Chantal. They get away with everything, and then they wink at you and try to remind you how manipulative they are and how good they are at it. Being manipulative is a skill. Why don't you go sell some Amway and make, you know, a little bit more money? The rest of what she has to do now to try to keep her channel alive reminds me of someone who's locked into a job they hate, but has no other place to move other than to start over completely. If she was going to have a career in another place, she had the medical secretary job. Um, she worked with Pete's for a while. So, I mean, she was never a star out front at any of her other jobs. She used to flirt with the guys she worked with, you know, like all sorts of stuff like that. So, um, so before I decide where we're going to go next and where we talk about where we're going to be next week, I do want to bring in Mark um, to share a few thoughts and also give a little wink and a nudge to the holidays. One second, please. Mark? Yeah? Could you come in here, please? Thank come you. hither, come hither. I'm here, I'm here. You guys remember Mark, of course. Hey, everybody. Been a long time. How are you? We did a live, and you had stuff going on, and then you were feeling shopping. well, and then there was COVID. Oh, and, and then I was sick before that. So, like, that there was, was fun. A lot of stuff going on. A lot yeah. Of stuff. Yes, yes. But you're back, and in time for the holiday season. Yes, our, I am. Our spooky Christmas. I definitely wanted to pop in and, and, and say hello and wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Oh, you know, even if we are talking about foodie beauty. <laughs> well, it's how we were throwing around. I'm thinking, like, how different is it this Christmas from her last Christmas? Oh, yeah. Or even the one before that, where she was in, like, a picture with a tree. Oh, I know. Like, and she had a family. Even just the last three years. Yeah. It, yeah. Very different. I think last year she gave all of her, all of her family. Um, Weed and liquor. Yeah. That was and instead bizarre. Of, and instead of giving them to them, she consumed all of it herself. Yes, I know, right? I, I, I don't know. And then we're <laughs> to this Christmas and she's in Kuwait. I, I know. Right? I don't know if she's observing it or not because her family observes it. Well, isn't and it even if she's, she's um, wait, wait, is she Muslim now? Is she? She's very vague about she's that. She's very vague. She, well, she, she appreciates the Christmas. She appreciates the culture. She went to her first mosque ever this week. Um, so she's she's really going. She said she's between religions, for lack of a better word. So well, I don't, I don't, don't really know. know how that shakes down. I don't know either, but... But that's how she's spending her Christmas. Okay. In the sand and sunny weather. Okay. We are here in freezing... Oh my gosh, it's too... <laughs> Northeastern it's too, Pennsylvania. It's two, two degrees! Two degrees outside. It's, it's very, very it's chilly. Very, God very bless cold. anyone outside in this. God bless the workers who are keeping the roads. I have to go out no. in this, too. I know. We need some supplies. Well, you I'll know. be thinking of you. Cigarettes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll be thinking I'll of me. I'll be thinking yeah, of maybe you. Maybe I won't go out and make you go. Let me, I can hold out. I can too. I, I can hold out. Pack of cigarettes. I could like Christmas is out. all about competitive self destruction. <laughs> <laughs> you're no, either like, you're a couple last minute things for gifts. I ran out of wrapping paper, like things like just last minute. Last minute oh, stuff. and it's Christmas Eve, so I got to get a move on too. Yeah. <laughs> but we have nowhere to be tonight, other than that. No, no, no. Any so. family stuff will be over the next couple days. Yes. If we visit with my very family, very true. So yes, it'll be a little bit. Well, thank yeah. you for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, happy holidays, everybody. And uh, if I don't see you, many, many blessings for the new year. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'll be wrapping up here. Okay. In not too long. So moving forward. Moving forward. Um, she's going to have to come back to Canada eventually. She can't stay away forever. Nader seems to think he has some angle where she would have to, where she should be able to testify in some situation that's going on. There's a thing with May that he's dealing with and it keeps getting forwarded and continued. And he seems to think he can like suck foodie beauty against her will, um, to participate in that. It'd be convenient that she's out of the country and halfway around the world. Um, she said she had tried to report some of the things people, um, had done 
Um, that w- but that when she's coming back to Canada, she's reporting a few reaction channels, Natter and Dee Dee for harassing her, revenge porn, all of it. Um, so we'll see how she addresses that going forward. She's very upset at the moment, but she'll change her mind. And she's taking a mental health break. Let me tell you, right now it's about 4.30 on the East Coast in the United States. By 10? At the latest? Maybe? I mean, she changes her mind fast. A couple days ago, there was that post with a whole new schedule, and now it's, nah, I can't do it. It sounded too much like work and made me crazy. So, I won't be doing it. So, thank you all for joining us. I hope you have a happy holiday if you're celebrating the holidays. If not, happy Saturday. And thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. You can follow us on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Email address and contact information all below as well. Thank you again, and we'll be catching up with you soon, okay? So if we don't hear from you or you don't see us, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you all. Say goodbye, Mark. Bye, everybody.